Hello, I'm Yvonne Morehouse. I'm a mixed media artist and I've been commissioned by uh, Westwood 2015 to show you how to design a poster. Uh, we're going to be using um, a mixture of different materials, uh, paper and fabric and all you'll need to do it is um, PVA glue or if you just use paper you can use a print stick but I don't think uh, the fabric would stick very well with that but if you've not got either of those then something like that will do uh, boss stick or general purpose glue you need some scissors and a glue brush um, you'll have received your pack through the post and there'll be some uh, a worksheet with it explaining um, things as well. First of all what you need to do is empty the pack and have a look at the materials you've got. So here we are I've emptied my pack and I'm sorting through the pieces of paper and um, fabric. Um, I've been thinking about the environment and I've decided that I'm going to do a poster around save saving water so just simply save water and I'm going to base my design uh, picture around that and here you'll see I've got my papers and my fabric and I'm going to do a sort of landscape a nice blue sky landscape and a big sun using the yellow fabric I'm going to send you some printed slogans but you can use your own slogans or if you don't want to use printed slogans you can always cut out the letters that you need for whatever words you're going to use. I've got some ideas like um, the recycle one, uh, walk don't ride so you're saving on uh, petrol and pollution, uh, a big favourite of mine take your litter home because we get lots of litter thrown out outside our house and uh, perhaps switch off save energy so you decide and then arrange your uh, paper and, and materials into the shapes you want don't start gluing at all until you're ready you've got all your pieces and I'll show you what to do next now here's my idea how I've, I want to the end result to look but I haven't stuck anything down yet everything's loose I've ripped the paper I've cut the material I've done a jimpy hedge around the sun just everything to make it look attractive I've cut out these rather sad looking plants um, because what I'm thinking about is we hear a lot about global warming and how um weather's going to get a lot hotter and and we'll lose some water now because it's not stuck down you can still change your mind you might want to move things around a bit you might rearrange the lettering but once you're happy with how you want it just take a note of where everything is you've got a mobile phone you can always take a picture so you know what you're aiming for at the end i've got my glue ready uh, I've put put it in a cup because it's easier to use with the glue brush so I'm just going to slide everything off leaving it roughly where I want it and then I'm going to start gluing I've got all my pieces laid out here ready to glue now so you can glue each piece individually or you could put a lot of glue on here and stick it down I don't need to stick anything up here because I've got a blue sky so my card's blue that's all right you might be using a white piece of of card um, so you could use material blue material as the sky just keep varying what which materials you use you know paper or fabric it just makes it more interesting you get different textures and it just looks prettier and more unusual so I'm going to lay what is the scorched earth I hope we haven't never get to that point but they do keep telling us to be careful and, and help the planet so first of all I'm going to lay these up just press them down 
The great thing about PVA is if you think, oh, that's looking a bit messy, it does dry um, and become invisible. So if you do get bits and pieces. So I'm just tucking that in. It's not, it's not obviously it's not going to dry straight away. So you can tuck things in like that. I'm going to glue behind that piece of paper. Down. And then on goes my last piece. Now you see, I didn't. I've gone a little bit too far up, but as I say, the the PVA will be invisible when once it's dry. If you're getting a bit sticky, you can always use some. Uh, Baking paper, rub it down, make sure it's all nice and flat and sticking to one another. Next thing is the sun. So that was around about the middle. And then my little wilted plants. I drew on the back, I drew them, I didn't do it freehand. And then just turn them round. So with collage, you, you tend to start with the background and then stick your objects on top or your patterns or whatever it is you're doing. But you need to start from the background or the bottom and work to the top. So don't forget you don't have to use these printed slogans. You can always cut some out. Which really looks quite funky, I think. Now, I've not been too careful with the strips on uh, things at the bottom. They go over my piece of card. But it's easier to trim when it's dry. Wet paper can be a bit awkward, unless you've got some sharp scissors. But be very careful. There it is. You can do simple designs. You can be as intricate as you like. If you're a detailed person, you might like to put a lot more detail in there. But just make it striking. Be as creative as you can. Get busy, have fun. And I'd love one that says, take your litter home.